All right, welcome back. Now we're going to talk about 3D polygons. Let's take a look at the polygon I've already created, which is this yellow one, which represents the Sugar Land Run neighborhood. What I'm going to do is change the angle, and we covered this in basic navigation. And we're going to create a 3D polygon here. So rule number two of Google Earth, just as a recap, is right-click properties if you want to edit anything. And we want to edit this polygon. So right here, right-click properties. And I'm back to the edit mode. Move this over just a bit. All right. What I'm going to do is come over to the Altitude tab in the Properties box. And I'm going to change Clamp to Ground to Relative to Ground. And much of my polygon disappeared. Except you'll see a few spots along the edges that you can still see remnants in the yellow polygon. What happened here is wherever I clicked first to draw the polygon, it references that altitude on the ground. So now that I'm relative to ground, any terrain that's higher than that point is covering it up. So watch this. When I move this slider bar to the right, I can start to raise that polygon off the ground. I'm going to raise it up maybe 200 meters or so. And now watch this. I'm going to click on Extend Sides to Ground. And now I created a 3D polygon. When I click OK and rotate around, you can see I don't just have length and width. I've got height added to my polygon as well. So let's do that all again. I'm going to go back to Properties, Altitude, change this back to Clamp to Ground, like that. All right, let's draw it from scratch. Here's our Northern Virginia Community College. Right click, add a polygon. I click around, draw my polygon. I'm going to call this Nova CC, Nova Community College. And I'm going to make this polygon a red color. All right, click OK, and we'll change the angle. So I want to show this 3D. Right click, Properties, Altitude tab, Relative to Ground, move the bar. I'm going to move it up a few, about 100 meters or so, and then extend sides to ground. And now I have a three dimensional polygon. There you go. There's a few more details to go with your polygon so you can visualize them in a variety of different ways. Thanks for watching. Map your world.